Hey things us and welcome to this video where I want to show you real quick how to create a Python list of size n. Okay, so say you have a, a number n equals 5 for example and now you want to create a list of size n for example uh, with some dummy values. Yeah, So you need to ensure that the list has n elements already in it and you can initialize with some dummy values. So let's call the dummy value is um, none and now how can we initialize a list of like five non five non values or ten non values or n like be more general n uh, non values? Yeah, so you simply use uh, list multiplication like this. Okay, so in this case it works uh, beautifully. Yeah, so you multiply um, your one list n times, which is semantically equivalent to uh, to having n concatenations of the same list. Okay, so if n is five, then you have uh, this list plus this list plus list plus 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 so we have uh, n concatenations of this list so this creates a new list object um, with pointers to this original um, element and for for immutable data types so if you have a dummy list of of, um, uh, of none values then this works uh, pretty nicely okay so let's let's check the result um, in, in a new python shell if you print this, we have a list with like five elements none, and now you can we can change one. So say say we override the third element in the list with 42, and we print the list again. You see only the third el the element with index three has been overwritten. So this works nicely for uh, this like trivial for 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 cases where we have immutable data types like numbers or strings and so on so data types you cannot change uh, but it is a problem if you have mutable data types so let's let's say you want to create a list of lists a list of some empty lists using the same strategy okay so now we have a list of lists if you print it, if you print this uh, let's get rid of the previous code Okay, so if you print this, we get again a list of lists. So it, everything seems plausible and nicely. So we have initialized the list of n uh, nested lists, basically. Yeah, so n simple uh, lists. But what, now, what happens if we change one element? So say we have, we call, um, we again use the second, the element with index uh, three, uh, index two. So which is the third element in the, in the list, and we change it. Like we append a value, hello, to the list. And now we print the list. So what happens now? How does the list of lists look like? Okay, so may, you may have guessed that only the third element has changed, but actually if you look at the, out, at the output here, you see that all lists have changed. So why is that? The reason is that, not, not, that now we have um, basically all inner lists all point to the same list. So if you, if you print it in memory, so we have a, this list of lists, yeah, like this. So basically we have a list of some elements, but in memory, these elements basically point initially to the same list. So these, these elements, the list element is actually only a reference to, the, to a memory object in Python, okay? So therefore all these um, list elements, they point to the same list in memory. So if you change it, like by appending one value 42, then all will have will point to the same list, and we have a like a list of um, of changed elements. Okay, so we use the string uh, hello as uh, as uh, as a value to be appended to the to the list. Okay, so how can we change it? How can we create a list of truly in, uh, independent lists so that if you change one list, not all the lists are changed? So we want to. Uh, want to create a list of list objects and now here in this case so if you want to do to accomplish this then this multiplication scheme doesn't work anymore so you should use list comprehension for this okay so um so again we start similarly but now we use this um expression context part um of list comprehension so we go over all elements so we actually don't care how they name uh, how they are called in range n and that's it, okay? So this is our context part. So we go over all, so this is our throwaway value. So we could also write i, but we actually don't need this i. So we simply write underscore to indicate that we throw it away, we don't care. So for all elements in range n, and n is now zero. Um, so this takes on all values zero, one, two, three, four, um, because n is five. So we have um, these subsequent elements and we iterate n times basically we create a new list 
Okay, so with this operation. So this operation, this expression is, is executed n times. It's, ex it's executed again and again. So it's not a copy or so anymore of an original list. And now we actually have this situation. Let's. So now we have the situa situation that we have a list. Um, okay, so I need to move everything here. Okay, now I move this. Okay, let's make it very small. Okay, now we have a list again of some elements, of some pointers. But now these pointers point to a new point to an empty list, like independent empty list somewhere in the, in your memory. Okay, and therefore if you change one, the other ones will not be affected by this change. Okay, so let's try it. Let's change one. So we do the same here, list two, append hello. Now we print the whole list and you see that we only changed one element with index two. So the third element in the list. Okay, so this is how you can um, easily create a list of some dummy values or placeholder values. Uh, if, you, if you have some a mutable type that you can change a list is mutable so you can change a list object itself then you should use the list comprehension statement if you have an immutable object like a, like a float integer strings or something an object that you cannot actually change then it doesn't matter because even if you would change it theoretically it would just create a new value in memory so uh, it doesn't matter okay so this is only necessary if you have an immutable object otherwise you can simply use this list concatenation operation with the multiplication operation Okay, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.